Last weekend, me and two friends decided to go out to Galway for two days and see the west of Ireland. And we went to Alloway Cave, we went to the Cliffs of Moher, we saw the Burren, and I of course had brought all my camera kit and I was trying to take really nice pictures. I was taking some long exposures because I had just bought a brand new ND filter set and they were really good. I come back, I load up the pictures on the computer and... and the pictures are covered in little black circles, which means there is dust on my camera sensor, which I hadn't detected or I hadn't checked for before. So normally I use one of those little uh, puffy rocket blowers. Actually, let me, let me get my little uh, puffy lads to blow dust out of the housing whenever I change my lens. And it's a big part of keeping the sensor clean. Um, that's an issue with the Sony camera is that when you take the lens off, the sensor is just exposed. It doesn't close the shutter when you take the lens off, which I really think it should. So I have to clean my sensor properly. And in order to do that, you have two options bring it to the camera shop and pay them to clean it or send it off to Sony and not have your camera for a while. Or you can do what I did and go on Amazon and buy a sensor cleaning kit. So this was the highest rated one on Amazon UK. I also bought one of these. So this is a sensor loop and it's essentially just a magnifying glass with some LEDs on it. And this is actually really handy because you can use this to check the sensor for dirt, you can look through it, you can really get down detailed and like see the sensor of minute detail, see any dust flecks and specks on it, check it, run the cleaning kit and then check it again. First thing we're going to do is take the lens off our camera and then we're going to use our rocket blower to blow out any dust that's sitting around in the housing or just lying against the sensor. Then we're going to take our loop and put it on the sensor and just see if there's any dust flecks left, which there is very clearly some dust left on the sensor. So now we need to use the wet portion of the kit. So we're going to open up our sensor cleaning kit and inside we've got a series of swabs and some sensor cleaning fluid. We're going to take one of the swabs out of the packet, put two drops on each side of the swab just to get it barely moist and then very carefully drag it across the sensor, turn it over and then drag it backwards in the opposite direction on the other side of the swab. And that's done. We're then going to use our loop to check it again I actually had to repeat using the swab because there's a patch of the sensor that didn't get cleaned because on this camera, which has in-body image stabilization, the sensor was moving around under the swab slightly. So it actually moved in a way that caused me to miss the dust specs. So I had to redo that section of the sensor. And then all we gotta do is reattach our lens and take a test photo. Okay, so to test whether or not the sensor is now clean, I decided to take a picture of a wall with a very low aperture at f22, which helps show up any dust particles better because the low aperture means the dust will cast a nice large shadow on the sensor, which is what the sensor dots are. Now, if you're not comfortable doing this or cleaning your sensor like this, don't bring it to a professional and let them do it for you or send it back to your manufacturer. If you feel comfortable with doing something like this, because I generally tinker with all my stuff, I try and repair and maintain all my own gear. So I felt completely comfortable cleaning my sensor with the kit. And it was actually very, very simple. It's worth giving it a try, but if you feel any kind of anxiety, you're like, I don't want to do this, send it off. And that's it. That's how I clean my sensor for this video. And I'll see you next time.